lots of people here. The group is bigger and bigger, which is beautiful. Um, so I want to share, I'm an accountant. I have a bookkeeping accounting firm. And I want to share my story for last six months since I joined Make Your Mark. So what I really focused on was building my team. So building team means uh, finding people who are similar to you so that they can do what you would like them to do and that they do that very hard. So I learned to train them and to delegate to them so that they fulfill their needs to feel important. And also I set up the expectation bar and I didn't just let it go. I was inspecting what they were doing and they're doing fantastic job. So team is extreme. I always write team with the capital T. It's extremely important to me and it's important to my team as well. Um, number two that I really got motivated here at Make Your Mark was collection process. Um, at this meeting somewhere in October, it just came to me that we are spending three weeks collecting from our respectful clients. And I always write clients with capital C. And instead of spending time collecting from them, I set up pre-authorized payment not spending any time collecting, but actually spending time focusing on providing service. Uh, number three, from this group, I learned to be more effective and I learned to pass that to my employees so that they feel more effective and that they find more room for extra efficiencies. So we start building procedures and it's ongoing process. And even today we are going to build another procedure and document and always challenge each other. Did you document that? That's fantastic. Did you document that? So number four, investment. We invested in marketing. I took Make Your Mark marketing course. It's very powerful. And I hired a person who specialized in marketing. And I trust her. Whatever she does, I just trust her. And she knows me inside out. She knows my people. She knows what we want to do. We invested in IT. Please don't underestimate. Technology can do a lot that we are doing. Okay. And we invested in your office. We really want to be a nice, bright environment where we feel more comfortable. Back to team. Team and revenue. So my, my goal today when I go back to the office from this particular group of people, I'm going to share four points with my key person to increase our revenue, to reach our new goal. So sales, profit, and more time off for everyone. So that's what I learned here. So, and by the way, um, I really cherish Make Your Mark. I have university degree in economy. I'm an economist. I have a college degree in finance. I have MBA in master administration, and I'm CPA. So I have lots of schooling done in my life, but nobody was teaching me how to run the business. So just want to say thank you to Make Your Mark. Oh, thank you, Gordana. Thank, thank you. I want to just do something a little different for a second. Does anybody surprised at her success after hearing her? No. no. Nobody, right? So let me give you this officially. I will knight you at the 20K Club. There we go. And I'm going to give you this for a moment. If you're okay with this, does anybody have any questions for her? Does anybody have any questions? Yeah. What was it like when you were first starting off? I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> like you and, Yeah, I didn't know. I just knew I want to provide good service to my clients. And I still do. But I didn't know how journey is going to take. I still don't know what is going to happen in 10 years down the road, but I know we're going to be doing what we want to do. And what, what was it like when you were that phase versus feeling like you're starting to take off in the first part? Well, I'll, I'll tell you my first uh, uh, business meeting, I didn't know what that business meeting was all about. And the moment I walk into the room, the client will run to me and he's like, I need an accountant. <laughs> so, you said visualize. So if you really visualize, you're there to make something special, visualize. I think that's very powerful. Great. Anybody else? Definitely. Yeah, Natalie. Um, I'm listening to you about your team. Where did you find them? How did you find those? By heart. 
So I ha I'll, I'll tell you one, one story. I had an um, ad and people applied for a junior accountant position and I interviewed them. I, went, I finished HR course a couple of months, so I did what the rule says. And uh, nobody was really giving me what I was expecting. And, uh, and then one person was calling me back. He said, um, you said you will um, let me know by Thursday and today is Friday. And I'm like, do you wanna start tomorrow? And that's my, one of the key accountants now. Huh. I wanna people who wanna do something more than my expectations. And they show up, they show up. Yeah, sure. What was your biggest universal challenge line that you might overcome? Rejection. You and I, we faced that together, right? At the business mastery, we were the last one that yes. told the truth. Rejection. Yes. Yeah, being rejected by the client. I always have to sit back and say, okay, the error did break down, so I can do this. Nice. Anybody else? Cody? Do you have time for a one-to-one -one call? <laughs> <laughs> nice. I do. I actually, I'm, I'm in the process of scheduling my one-to-ones uh, with my another business group. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Perfect, guys. Give her a round of applause. Thank you so much for that. Welcome back.